Miletus, ancient Greek, Miletos translate. Miletos, Hittite transcription Milawanda or Milawada exonyms, Latin, Miletus, Turkish, Malay was an ancient Greek city on the western coast of Anatolia, near the mouth of the Meander River in ancient Caria. Its ruins are located near the modern village of Balat in Aden province, Turkey. Before the Persian invasion in the middle of the 6th century BC, Miletus was considered the greatest and wealthiest of Greek cities. Evidence of first settlement at the site has been made inaccessible by the rise of sea level and deposition of sediments from the meander. The first available evidence is of the Neolithic. In the early and middle Bronze Age, the settlement came under Minoan influence. Legend has it that an influx of Cretans occurred, displacing the indigenous Leliges. The site was renamed Miletus after a place in Crete. The Late Bronze Age, 13th century BC, saw the arrival of Luwian language speakers from south-central Anatolia calling themselves the Carians. Later in that century other Greeks arrived. The city at that time rebelled against the Hittite Empire. After the fall of that empire the city was destroyed in the 12th century BC and starting about 1000 BC was resettled extensively by the Ionian Greeks. Legend offers an Ionian foundation event sponsored by a founder named Neleus from the Peloponnesus. The Greek Dark Ages were a time of Ionian settlement and consolidation in an alliance called the Ionian League. The archaic period of Greece began with a sudden and brilliant flash of art and philosophy on the coast of Anatolia. In the 6th century BC, Miletus was the site of origin of the Greek philosophical and scientific tradition, when Thales, followed by Anaximander and Anaximenes known collectively, to modern scholars, as the Milesian school began to speculate about the material constitution of the world, and to propose speculative naturalistic as opposed to traditional, supernatural explanations for various natural phenomena. Miletus is the birthplace of the Hagia Sophia's architect and inventor of the flying buttress Isidore of Miletus and Thales, a pre-Socratic Greek philosopher and one of the seven sages of Greece in c. 624 BC. Geography <inaudible> 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 The ruins appear on satellite maps at 37 degrees 31.8 and 27 degrees 16.7 e, about 3 km north of Balat and 3 km east of Batikoy in Aden province, Turkey. In antiquity the city possessed a harbour at the southern entry of a large bay, on which two more of the traditional twelve Ionian cities stood, Preen and Myus. The harbour of Miletus was additionally protected by the nearby small island of Laid. Over the centuries the gulf silted up with alluvium carried by the Meander River. Preen and Myus had lost their harbours by the Roman era, and Miletus itself became an inland town in the early Christian era. All three were abandoned to ruin as their economies were strangled by the lack of access to the sea. There is a great harbour monument where, according to the New Testament account, the Apostle Paul stopped on his way back to Jerusalem by boat. He met the Ephesian elders and then headed out to the beach to bid them farewell, recorded in the Book of Acts chapter 20 verses 17 to 38. Topic: <inaudible> Geology. <inaudible> During the Pleistocene epoch, the Miletus region was submerged in the Aegean Sea. It subsequently emerged slowly, the sea reaching a low level of about 130 meters (430 feet) below present level at about 18,000 BP. The site of Miletus was part of the mainland. A gradual rise brought a level of about 1.75 meters 5 feet 9 in below present at about 5,500 BP, creating several karst block islands of limestone, the location of the first settlements at Miletus. At about 1500 BC the karst shifted due to small crustal movements and the islands consolidated into a peninsula. Since then the sea has risen 1.75 meters but the peninsula has been surrounded by sediment from the Meander River and is now landlocked. Sedimentation of the harbor began at about 1000 BC, and by AD 300 Lake Baffa had been created. History Neolithic <inaudible> 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 The earliest available archaeological evidence indicates that the islands on which Miletus was originally placed were inhabited by a Neolithic population in 3500-3000 BC. Pollen in core samples from Lake Baffa in the Latmus region inland of Miletus suggests that a lightly grazed climax forest prevailed in the Meander Valley, otherwise untenanted. 
Sparse Neolithic settlements were made at springs, numerous and sometimes geothermal in this karst, rift valley topography. The islands offshore were settled perhaps for their strategic significance at the mouth of the Meander, a route inland protected by escarpments. The graziers in the valley may have belonged to them, but the location looked to the sea. <laughs> Bronze Age Recorded history at Miletus begins with the records of the Hittite Empire and the Mycenaean records of Pylos and Gnosis, in the Late Bronze Age. The prehistoric archaeology of the Early and Middle Bronze Age portrays a city heavily influenced by society and events elsewhere in the Aegean, rather than inland. <laughs> Minoan period Beginning at about 1900 BC artifacts of the Minoan civilization acquired by trade arrived at Miletus. For some centuries the location received a strong impulse from that civilization, an archaeological fact that tends to support but not necessarily confirm the founding legend—that is, a population influx, from Crete. According to Strabo, Aphurus says, Miletus was first founded and fortified above the sea by Cretans, where the Miletus of olden times is now situated, being settled by Sarpedon, who brought colonists from the Cretan Miletus and named the city after that Miletus, the place formerly being in possession of the Lelages. The legends recounted as history by the ancient historians and geographers are perhaps the strongest. The late mythographers have nothing historically significant to relate. Mycenaean period Miletus was a Mycenaean stronghold on the coast of Asia Minor from c. 1450 to 1100 BC. In c. 1320 BC, the city supported an anti-Hittite rebellion of Uhha Zidi of nearby Arzawa. Mursili ordered his generals Mala Zidi and Gulla to raid Milawanda, and they proceeded to burn parts of it. Damage from Lhiiia found on site has been associated with this raid. In addition, the town was fortified according to a Hittite plan. Miletus is then mentioned in the Tawagalawa letter, part of a series including the Manapa Tarhunta letter and the Milawada letter, all of which are less securely dated. The Tawagalawa letter notes that Milawada had a governor, a TPA, who was under the jurisdiction of Ayawa, a growing state probably in Lhiiib Mycenaean Greece, and that the town of Atria was under Milesian jurisdiction. The Manapa Tarhunta letter also mentions a TPA. Together the two letters tell that the adventurer Piyama Radu had humiliated Manapa Tarhunta before a TPA in addition to other misadventures, a Hittite king then chased Piyama Radu into Milawanda and, in the Tawagalawa letter, requested Piyama Radu's extradition to Hatti. The Milawada letter mentions a joint expedition by the Hittite king and a Luwian vassal probably Kupanta Karunta of Mira against Miletus, and notes that the city together with Atria were now under Hittite control. Homer mentions that during the time of the Trojan War, Miletus was an ally of Troy and was city of the Carions, under Nastor and Amphimachus. In the last stage of Lhiiib, the citadel of Bronze Age Pylos counted among its female slaves a Mi-Ra-Ti-Ya, Mycenaean Greek for women from Miletus written in Linear B syllabic script. During the collapse of Bronze Age civilization, Miletus was burnt again, presumably by the Sea Peoples. <laughs> Dark Age Mythographers told that Neleus, a son of Codrus the last king of Athens, had come to Miletus after the return of the Heraclids. So, during the Greek Dark Ages, the Ionians killed the men of Miletus and married their widows. This is the mythical commencement of the enduring alliance between Athens and Miletus, which played an important role in the subsequent Persian Wars. Topic: <laughs> Archaic Period. The city of Miletus became one of the 12 Ionian cities of Asia Minor. Miletus was one of the cities involved in the Lelantine War of the 8th century BC. Topic: <laughs> Ties with Megara. Miletus is known to have early ties with Megara in Greece. According to some scholars, these two cities had built up a colonization alliance. In the 7th, 6th century BCE they acted in accordance with each other, both cities acted under the leadership and sanction of an Apollo oracle. Megara cooperated with that of Delphi. Miletus had her own oracle of Apollo Didymius Milesios in Didyma. 
Also, there are many parallels in the political organization of both cities. According to Pausanias, the Megarians said that their town owed its origin to Car, the son of Pheronius, who built the city citadel called Caria. This Car of Megara may or may not be one and the same as the Car of the Karens, also known as Car, king of Caria. In the late 7th century BC, the tyrant Thrasybulus preserved the independence of Miletus during a 12-year war fought against the Lydian Empire. Thrasybulus was an ally of the famous Corinthian tyrant Periander. Miletus was an important center of philosophy and science, producing such men as Thales, Anaximander and Anaximenes. Referring to this period, religious studies professor F. E. Peters described pan-deism as the legacy of the Milesians. By the 6th century BC, Miletus had earned a maritime empire with many colonies, but brushed up against powerful Lydia at home, and the tyrant Polycrates of its neighbor to the west, Samos. First Achaemenid period When Cyrus of Persia defeated Croesus of Lydia in the middle of the 6th century BC, Miletus fell under Persian rule. In 499 BC Miletus's tyrant Aristagoras became the leader of the Ionian revolt against the Persians under Darius the Great, who quashed this rebellion and punished Miletus by selling all of the women and children into slavery, killing the men, and expelling all of the young men as eunuchs, thereby assuring that no Miletus citizen would ever be born again. A year afterward, Phrynichus produced the tragedy The Capture of Miletus in Athens. The Athenians fined him for reminding them of their loss. Topic. Classical Greek period In 479 BC the Greeks decisively defeated the Persians on the Greek mainland at the Battle of Plataea, and Miletus was freed of Persian rule. During this time several other cities were formed by Milesian settlers, spanning across what is now Turkey and even as far as Crimea. The city's grid-like layout became famous, serving as the basic layout for Roman cities. Topic. Second Achaemenid period In 387 BC the Peace of Antalcidas gave the Persian Achaemenid Empire under King Artaxerxes II control of the Greek city-states of Ionia, including Miletus. In 358 BC Artaxerxes II died and was succeeded by his son Artaxerxes III, who in 355 BC forced Athens to conclude a peace which required its forces to leave Asia Minor Anatolia and acknowledge the independence of its rebellious allies. <laughs> Macedonian period In 334 BC the siege of Miletus by the forces of Alexander the Great of Macedonia liberated the city from Persian rule, soon followed by most of Asia Minor. In this period the city reached its greatest extent, occupying within its walls an area of approximately 90 hectares 220 acres. .When Alexander died in 323 BC, Miletus came under the control of Ptolemy, governor of Caria and his satrap of Lydia Asandrus, who had become autonomous. In 312 BC Macedonian general Antigonus I Monophthalmus sent Docimus and Midias to free the city and grant autonomy, restoring the democratic patrimonial regime. After Antigonus I was killed in the Battle of Ipsus in 301 BC by the coalition of Lysimachus of Macedon, Cassander of Macedon, and Seleucus I Nicator, founder of the Seleucid Empire, Miletus maintained good relations with all the successors after Seleucus I Nicator made substantial donations to the sanctuary of Didyma and returned the statue of Apollo that had been stolen by the Persians in 494 BC. In 295 BC Antigonus I's son Demetrius Poliorcetes was the eponymous archon in the city, which allied with Ptolemy I Soter of Egypt, while Lysimachus assumed power in the region, enforcing a strict policy towards the Greek cities by imposing high taxes, forcing Miletus to resort to lending. Topic. Seleucid period Around 287–286 BC Demetrius Poliorcetes returned, but failed to maintain his possessions and was imprisoned in Syria. Nicocles of Sido, the commander of Demetrius' fleet surrendered the city. Lysimachus dominated until 281 BC, when he was defeated by the Seleucids at the Battle of Choropedium. In 280–279 BC the Milesians adopted a new chronological system based on the Seleucids. 
Topic: <inaudible> Egyptian period. In 279 BC, the city was taken from Seleucid king Antiochus II by Egyptian king Ptolemy II Philadelphus, who donated a large area of land to cement their friendship, and it remained under Egyptian sway until the end of the century. Aristides of Miletus, founder of the Badi Miletian school of literature, flourished in the 2nd century BC. Roman period The New Testament mentions Miletus as the site where the Apostle Paul in AD 57 met with the elders of the Church of Ephesus near the close of his third missionary journey, as recorded in Acts of the Apostles Acts 20 verses 15-38. It is believed that Paul stopped by the Great Harbor Monument and sat on its steps. He may have met the Ephesian elders there and then bid them farewell on the nearby beach. Miletus is also the city where Paul left Trophimus, one of his traveling companions, to recover from an illness 2 Timothy 4 verse 20. Because this cannot be the same visit as Acts 20 in which Trophimus accompanied Paul all the way to Jerusalem, according to Acts 21 verse 29, Paul must have made at least one additional visit to Miletus, perhaps as late as AD 65 or 66. Paul's previous successful three-year ministry in nearby Ephesus resulted in the evangelization of the entire province of Asia see Acts chapter 19 verse 10, 20, 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. It is safe to assume that at least by the time of the Apostles' second visit to Miletus, a fledgling Christian community was established in Miletus. <laughs> Byzantine period During the Byzantine age the see of Miletus was raised to an archbishopric and later a metropolitan bishopric. The small Byzantine castle called Palatian located on the hill beside the city, was built at this time. Miletus was headed by a curator. Turkish rule Seljuk Turks conquered the city in the 14th century and used Miletus as a port to trade with Venice. Finally, Ottomans utilized the city as a harbor during their rule in Anatolia. As the harbor became silted up, the city was abandoned. Due to ancient and subsequent deforestation, overgrazing mostly by goat herds, erosion and soil degradation the ruins of the city lie some 10 kilometers miles from the sea with sediments filling the plain and bare hill ridges without soils and trees, a maquis shrubland remaining. The Ilias Bay complex from 1403 with its mosque is an Europa Nostra awarded cultural heritage site in Miletus. <laughs> Archaeological excavations The first excavations in Miletus were conducted by the French archaeologist Olivier Rayet in 1873, followed by the German archaeologists Julius Holson and Theodor Wiegand between 1899 and 1931. Excavations, however, were interrupted several times by wars and various other events. Karl Weikert excavated for a short season in 1938 and again between 1955 and 1957. He was followed by Gerhard Kleiner and then by Wolfgang Müller Wiener. Today, excavations are organized by the Ruhr University of Bochum, Germany. One remarkable artifact recovered from the city during the first excavations of the 19th century, the market gate of Miletus, was transported piece by piece to Germany and reassembled. It is currently exhibited at the Pergamon Museum in Berlin. The main collection of artifacts resides in the Miletus Museum in Dedham, Aden, serving since 1973. Topic. Colonies Miletus became known for the great number of colonies it founded. It was considered the greatest Greek metropolis and founded more colonies than any other Greek city. Pliny the Elder mentions 90 colonies founded by Miletus in his Natural History 5.112, among them Amesis, Apollonia, Dioscurias, Histria, Odessos, Albia, Pantacapium, Phanagoria, Phasais, Pityus Sinop Tanae Theodosia Thomas Tyras Trapezon Topic Notable people Thales C 
624 BC, c. 546 BC, pre-Socratic philosopher Anaximander c. 610 BC, c. 546 BC, pre-Socratic philosopher Cadmus Florida, c. 550 BC, writer Anaximenes c. 585 BC, c. 525 BC, pre-Socratic philosopher Aristagoras Florida. 6th–5th century BC, tyrant of Miletus Hecateus c. 550 BC, c. 476 BC, Greek historian Leucippus Florida, first half of 5th century BC, philosopher and originator of atomism his association with Miletus is traditional, but disputed Hippodamus c. 498 408 BC, urban planner Aspasia c. 470-400 BC courtesan, and mistress of Pericles, was born in Miletus Aristides Florida, 2nd century BC, writer Isidore Florida. 4th-5th century AD, Greek architect Hesychius Florida. 6th century AD, Greek chronicler and biographer Topic. See also Alexander Cornelius Cities of the Ancient Near East Pergamon Museum Topic. References and sources References Source Scrouch, Dora P. 2004. Geology and Settlement, Greco-Roman Patterns. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780195083238. Topic. References Topic. Notes Further reading Greaves, Alan M. 2002. Melitos, A History. London, Routledge. ISBN 9780415238000. Topic. References Topic. Notes Topic. External links Official website Ausgrabungen in Malay Official site of the excavations in Miletus by Ruhr Universität Bochum in German. Ancient coins of Miletus Livius Picture Archive, Miletus Greek inscriptions of Miletus in English translation The Theatre at Miletus, the Ancient Theatre Archive, Theatre Specifications and Virtual Reality Tour of Theatre Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Miletus. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Virtual Tour at Ancient Miletus Walking the Sacred Pagan Path from Ancient Miletus to Dedham.